Welcome back to the new video in ChatGPT with Power BI. How to clear the concepts and get a learning support from Power BI. Now, I have courses on YouTube. I have courses on the website named as pavanlalwan.com. People buy the courses. People see the courses on various platforms and they get stuck into some places. There are many topics which you may not be able to understand or I may not be able to convey the message properly. So, there are some concepts which needs deep understanding and you need some mentor, some guide, some colleague who can train you or guide you step by step in the every process of learning. So it's very rare that you get always a support and uh, you have to try to find out the answers by yourself. So what you can do is instead of waiting for the customer support or the customer success support team, you can directly get the answers with ChatGPT. Now let's try to understand some concepts. So if I want to understand few topics in Power BI, for example, what is the data gateway? Data Gateway is a very important topic which I have explained in Power BI course. That is one option here. But suppose if you want to understand exactly what is Data Gateway, I can type in this place, what is Data Gateway in Power BI. So what is Data Gateway in Power BI? I'm just asking the questions to ChatGPT and then it will give you all the answers that Data Gateway is a connector between the on-premise data sources and the cloud Power BI service account. So in case if you want to do an automatic refresh, you need a gateway in between so that they can connect the data source as well as the Power BI service. So they will give you in detail understanding on-premise data sources, data gateway installation, secure data transfers and, and so on. So this is one example. And if you think you need more explanation that what exactly is on-premise data sources. So I can just write here, copy, paste and explain me as a five year old boy. Okay. Five year old, it's very small again. You can uh, ask them it's a 20 year old guy, just college pass out and it will try to give the example. But if you tell them five year old boy, it has given the examples of favorite toys, uh, boxes called computers and same way, a secret door, magical gateway. They have used those kind of terms, which usually a kid, five year old kid would like to, you know, listen over there. So this is one example. Second, the most important point is what is the difference between dashboard and a report? Now, many people have no idea that reports and dashboards they are totally different okay so this is something which chat gpt can help you to understand the difference between dashboard and report very few people know the difference so let me try to get the answer so it has stuck in between let me write it again Control c i'll refresh the browser and i'll just paste this particular code which is difference between dashboard and a report and this will give me the explanation what is dashboard what is a report it will give me two different answers over there so now if you understand so a report is something which is created on the desktop. It's an interactive report, whereas the dashboard is created in the Power BI service in the online account. Now the dashboard on the online account is not interactive. In this desktop version, report is interactive. People always get confused between report and dashboard. They always call report as a dashboard. So now this knowledge information you will not get easily, but ChatGPT can help you answer the questions here. So second question, the famous question. I'm just typing the famous questions what people ask. What is the power query versus power pivot? What is the difference in that? This is the most famous question asked in the interview, everyone. Power pivot versus power query. So power query is a data cleaning software and the power pivot is a data modeling software. So bring the world's dirtiest possible data you have ever seen and uh, power query can clean it for you, provided they have a pattern. So now why there's a demand of power BI? Suddenly there's a demand of power BI in the market and there are a lot of engineers and data scientists which are required. Why? Okay. So then it will try to give you the answers because of uh, the whole world is moving towards data. 90% of the world's data is collected in the last two years, 90%. So obviously when there's a huge data, we need some analysis to keep a track of how the audience are moving from one platform to other platform, from one product to another product and so on. So here, this tool will tell you why Power BI is in demand, right? These are the answers it will give you. And now this is the again, very famous question for all the freshers who are watching right now which industry power bi is used so many people have a confusion and a so many people have a confusion and a question that Power BI is used only in the IT companies and only software engineers use it. The answer is no. 
Power BI is used in all the organizations, in the different uh, companies, in the different departments and domains. Every department, every domain. Wherever Excel is used, if I ask you where is Excel used, so you might say it is used in the healthcare, pharma, marketing, sales and uh, HR, IT company, all places use Excel. Same way, Excel next version you can say Power BI, it is used in all the companies and corporates. So I'm asking them which industry Power BI is used. They are giving you all the answers, retail, finance, healthcare, manufacturing, energy and telecommunications. We have used this uh, Power BI in the Indian Army, Indian Air Force. We have used this Power BI in the government organization to create a dashboard about voters and everything. So there are many areas where you can use this Power BI. Almost 99% every industry it is used. So these are some questions, concept clarification and you will get a learning support. So in case if you are trying to understand some topic and you are not getting a customer success support, we on the website reply within 48 hours but obviously some there are public holidays, sometimes the person is not well, something happens. So you are waiting to get the concept clear and which might demotivate you to leave the topic. Okay, So you might leave the topic in between. So don't do that. Open chat GPT, start asking questions and you will get all the answers. Within minutes, you'll be getting the answers. Don't wait for anything. If the installation is not done, why it is not done, copy paste the error message. If the output is not coming, you just explain the process, you'll get the answers. If you don't know the interview questions, you put the questions. So if you don't have the document, when to create which chart, many people are asking, you just ask the question, when to create which chart. So everyone, the concept clarification is done with ChatGPT very smoothly. The only problem is many people do not know how to use it. Make a habit of using and getting the answers automatically with this ChatGPT. But for time being, I hope you have understood how to get the concepts cleared and get a learning support from this ChatGPT for Power BI. That's all for this video.